Welcome to another edition of CEO Unplugged. I'm Scary Jones from Elvis Duran and the Z100 Morning Show. And of course, we always bring you some fun, cool founders of organizations, products, services, and, and things like that. And as you can see, I have some fun products behind me. Um, but we're talking today to Kelly Wong. She's the CEO and founder of Lie products. Yes. L-A-I, Lai. Yes. What does the word Lai mean? It's actually my Chinese name and my middle name. Oh my God, yeah. that's great. <laughs> so I was having trouble finding a name for it. So I said, why not just keep it close to my heart? You know, I'm especially proud to have you here, Kelly, uh, because, you know, with March 8th having been International Women's Day, yes. uh, here we are, who's a woman in charge <laughs> of her own business I think it's it's only appropriate that we talk to you today here on CEO Unplugged. Yes, I'm honored, definitely. Now, I'm really excited that you're here because um, you have an interesting twist. I do. A lot of CEOs that come through here uh, on CEO Unplugged, um, they, you know, this is their sole purpose in life to create something. They, you know, and they've built their entire, you know, all their energy and all their entire life's years on earth mm, towards something. Right. Turns out, you have a full-time job, Correct. and what's behind us is a side hustle. Yes. <laughs> First of all, explain to me what your full-time job is and to everybody listening and sure. watching this. So for 25 plus years, um, I've been in the media buying industry. Um, so back in the day before the internet, we only had TV, cable, and radio. Right. What is media buying for those who are not part of the industry? Sure. So we represent... Um, multiple clients and we in simple terms we spend their advertising budget for right them. so the so, commercials you see on tv or hear on the radio or see online they're negotiated there's always a negotiation yeah. between the vendor and um the media buying company right so you sit there with as a media buying person mm -hmm. and you you take their budget and they whack you whack it up and you say all right we're going to spend ten dollars well you know we're just speaking in simple terms <laughs> ten dollars go to radio here and four dollars go to you know the internet and now uh 20 cents go on print at this point <laughs> at this point that's a right. joke hey, print is dead print is dead <laughs> anyway you're right so the, but that's that's the media buying world yeah we right. decide what stations to be on or perhaps Fun. um a client may want you to right. you know help uh, create their commercial for them, read their commercial for them. So, and we do events too, as right. you know. So now, why why would you take twenty five years in doing this successfully? I'm assuming you're. Yeah. Uh, listen, you do you work with us a lot with the radio stations. We a lot of the stuff that you hear us talk about on the air uh, it comes from people like Kelly and yeah. and her world. So why would you take twenty five years of that and say, you know, because you have a lot on your plate, yeah. and then say, you know what? I need something else in life. <laughs> like, is there a, was there a need? Was there a reason? Was there a spark? Um, Talk so to us I about that. I think um, from a very young age, I always had an entrepreneurial spirit about me, but I was always afraid to take the leap, which is, you know, why I probably stayed um, in the industry. And um, this actually happened by chance. I was helping a friend teach a workout class. And I realized a lot of the students were having trouble kneeling down on the yoga mat. So they would take their yoga mat and they would keep folding it or they would use a blanket or a towel oh, wow. to alleviate the pressure off their knees. And I said there had to be something. Because um, the regular standard yoga mats are those very thin roll-up mats exactly. that people put in their backpack and walk you see them on the streets all the time yeah, people walking with them exactly and there's many reasons why people would have knee issues i mean they could have like very thin bony knees or they could have had some sort of injury sure um as you get older it's a little harder to kneel down yeah um so i said there had to be something out there and at the same time i was taking an amazon course to learn about you know, um, basically how he made all his millions, but I was just intrigued of how to basically put your product on Amazon. So I found something called a balance pad, and a balance pad is actually, um, they have them at physical therapy uh, rehabs to help people um, basically just strengthen their ankle. So I found several companies, and I said, let me just get some samples, and I found my favorite um, foam that I really liked and I made it into three different sizes 
ordered the lowest quantity I was able to just as a test market. Right, sure. Because I don't Like know. a prototype I, of sorts? Exactly. And I started doing craft shows and health expos just to get the get the market research, see if there's a need for it, and see if people would like it. So you start small, yeah. you know, and you grow from there. And luckily, I've been mm. um, very successful in getting people, finding people that really need something to help alleviate that pressure off their knees. And it's not just the knees. Right. It could be your tailbone for you when you're doing ab work. It could be for your wrist if you're doing planks. So there's many things that it could be actually used for. Which I'm also fascinated by because it is multi-purpose and it's not just for exercising. Some people, you're talking about moms using them. Correct. So when I was out there selling it for exercise as a supplement, I found all these other industries that where people would need it. So for example, moms that give their kids or animals a bath in their bathtub. Sure. Um, the contracting business, so the plumbers, the electricians, the floor installers, a, um, locksmith, they're always kneeling down. Sure. And what they've told me is that the, the what they're using right now is still not helping them because like those knee um it's like kind of like a kneecap sure but it digs into the back of their knee wow so yeah. this could be used for everyone in, in everyday life so it's multi multi-purpose pretty yeah. much how did you come did you develop this product how did this happen like because but by the way this is it right here you see it in back yeah. of us why don't you hold so it I up have it in three different it's, sizes. it's nice nice and uh it's, it's 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 a hard kind of soft or a soft kind of hard. How do you how do you explain what we're feeling right I here? I call it in simple terms a tempurpedic pad for your knees. <laughs> so when you it feels like it's hard, but once you as you have tried it, yeah. once you kneel down, it feels good on the knees and sure. it feels so much better than a typical hardwood floor or even your yoga mat. And why are there three different sizes? So three different sizes to uh, fit different needs. So if okay. you do, if you go to a yoga class, right, um, this might be a little bit bulky to take, and you want something a little lighter, sure, a little smaller, sure. So this that would, could fit in a large handbag, <laughs> <laughs> or a knapsack, or, a or a knapsack, right? Sure. Yeah. Um, th these um, uh, some people use it for meditation. Sure. Some people use it to do okay. ab work, so they need a bigger space. Okay. Um, and then this one is just medium. Same thing. Some people just want it in a smaller size. This is a little bit less dense, so it's it's not, not in terms of the height. Right. It's just a half an inch less dense. Yeah. Um. Some people, when they kneel on their knees, they like to sit back. So when you're sitting back, there's a little bit more room that you could sit back on. Understood. So that your tailbone is on it. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, now, of course, this being a side hustle... It, it couldn't have just come easy. There had to be some challenges. So many challenges. Um, number one, my product comes from a different country. So um, ah. having it FedEx. Where does it come from? It comes from China. Mm -hmm. um, having it FedEx is very costly. So it has to come by boat. So it takes probably about a good six weeks. Okay. So between manufacturing it, having it shipped over... Um, it could be possibly a two-month process. How do you keep the cost down? So cost is very hard. So it's that's in the shipping. Ah. I would never have it FedExed or um, sent over by air. It always has to be mm -hmm. shipped by boat. Got to it. Keep the cost down. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, the other challenge I have is I initially thought I was going to sell it on Amazon. The problem is on Amazon, it's really a search engine. So no, since nobody knows what it is, oh, they can't really demonstrate it. They can't to, search for it. They won't, don't know what what were keywords to put exactly. in. Exactly, they don't know what a balance pad is. I could put a knee pad that I can use. Um, so technically, it's a balance pad, and I do. It helps to show video. It helps to demonstrate it because then they could visually see. Sure. It. So Amazon, um, I do sell it on there, but it's definitely not my main source. I do best at expos. A face-to-face -face type of... This is a lot of man hours, or woman, right. woman hours. <laughs> <laughs> so with that said, how do you balance between your full-time job and your side hustle? Yeah, so um, definitely weekends, um, right. evenings. So um, there's also a learning process. You have to learn a lot about um, social media. Mm -hmm. um, as an advertiser, um, you have to learn about... Um, just the nuances of getting your message out there. 
Um, thankfully, since I'm in the advertising world, I'm in the middle of creating a commercial. So right, um, you already have a lot of the know-how because uh, yeah. of your previous experience with your full-time job. Yeah, so it's just a matter of learning, getting a yeah. videographer, having it filmed. I know how to place it. Yeah, <laughs> this is wonderful. It's Thank it's you. you know, and again, they say I always say this: necessity is the mother of invention. So you. You saw a need and you fulfilled the need by creating this, and exactly. that's why this is well on its way. Yeah, if there's always um, a problem, the best is to find a solution, and if there's already a solution, how to just improve on that solution. Right. So for me, like I, you're not going to find this size out of physical therapy, you know, but I'm marketing sure. it so that the people who need a smaller size, that's what I developed it for. That's awesome. And, and what about? Um, for people that may be watching this that are young entrepreneurs themselves like how do you start a how do you start a product business there might be people watching right now that have oh, i have the solution to this i already i already invented it in my mind this product how do you take it to market yeah so the best thing to do first even before you think of what you want what, what you perceive is what is needed you need to find out to make sure if it's needed first so you test market. You really it's all testing. Right. Um, so I started with a small quantity. So you're never gonna buy thousands and thousands no, of products because you don't know if it's gonna sell. You don't know. You'd be, you'd right. be stuck with that in your bedroom <laughs> your entire life. Exactly. <laughs> you'd be sleeping on these <laughs> if, if it wasn't a hit. So small small quantity. Uh-huh. Then find out if there's a need for it. Okay. So if you're solving a problem, yep. that's definitely um the I would say suggest that is the first go-to. And then from there, if you find that people are interested and are buying it, then you expand from there. And then that's Got when it. you're looking to scale. That's awesome. Now, you launched another website uh, recently. I did. Um, so what was that and what, what do you offer on that site? So I am starting to go towards the speaking route. Okay. Um, And that's to speak on stages to actually – Speak to executives in terms of um, creating a high-performing team because nowadays there's a lot of millennials and Generation Zs coming in. And how I see it as, um, I'm 50, by the way. No, come yeah. on now. <laughs> You're kidding me. So I say it Goodness. this way. I had no idea. <laughs> I say it this way. As I was raised as a child, how you were taught as a child is not necessarily the same methodology of how you would teach a child today. Uh -huh. It's different. We live, we live in different times. We didn't have social media back then. Right. We didn't have the resources that we have today. So how you teach um, today's, whether it's your children or your team that are, you know, during born during the millennial and generation Z um, era, you have to teach them differently. Sure. And so um, I've been successful. Maybe it's because I don't have children, but I have four nieces and a nephew that are millennials and yep. Generation Z. I seem to- You have, you have them under surveillance. You're like, <laughs> you're taking notes about their behaviors. Yeah. yeah. So I tend to be more of a mentor and a teacher. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And I've done very well also with What's, my assistants. What site is that? What site? Uh, KellyWongSpeaks.com. Oh, so, so you have the KellyWongSpeaks.com site. Right. To and basically speak to the executives on how to teach, mentor the millennials of today. Wow. Yeah. That's another side hustle. That's yeah. a side, side hustle. That's a side, side and what's hustle. And what's the site for Lie, Lie Life Products? It's LieLifeProducts.com, and that's L-A-I LifeProducts.com. So, this is great. All yeah. right. Wonderful. Well, Squeezing in as much yes. as I can. <laughs> and, and oh, by the way, she's got a full-time job on top of that. When do you sleep? <laughs> very little <laughs> wow. but I have a passion for it I'm very yeah. um I just love it so I love all the things that I do right. so um there's no limits to anything mm -hmm. you know a lot of people I just I don't spend as much time on Netflix or TV so. right so this is what you're doing in your spare time yeah. while other people are binging you know mm -hmm. <laughs> whatever the latest show is on Netflix how many hours of the day you actually do have when you don't do that 
Oh, believe me, I know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, so Kelly Wong, it's it's great to great to meet you. Or, or thank you. You know, uh, I've been working with you for years, unbeknownst to me <laughs> until just now, because she's behind all the fun stuff we do. Uh, and she's got a couple of side hustles, you know. So check out that website, Thank and of you. course, LiLifeProducts.com. CEO Unplugged. You are definitely, uh, you know, the CEO of of two side hustles in addition to a full time job. I give you a lot of credit. Thanks for hanging Thank out you. today. Thank you so much. It's cool. Thanks Appreciate for watching it. CEO Unplugged. Thank you.